guys a little bit. Is there any genre you guys like to be described as, or y'all not stick to this? I'm just gonna say jazz is an inaccurate descriptor because obviously there's gonna be some jazz influence in there. But I mean, we're we're just, we're a rock band, soul rock, you know, soulful songwriting. But I don't. I just my one thing about about that about labels is like most of them are cool, but to to say jazz as as the kind of music that we play is just inaccurate. You're right. Ben Elman, the, the sax player, their producers, uh, has produced our next album. It should come out no, early 2012. Yeah, it was great. Like was I, great. I, I think we learned yeah. a ton working with him. Just 
you know, and Dave is, is going to get a song or two on Galactic's next album. No I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a Man. fruitful collaboration. We got a good album out of it. Um, just learned by watching them how they work as a band. Like, when we're in their studio doing overdubs mm-hmm. and stuff, and just see how they do things. It was just, it was cool to just be able to observe that and yeah. see how, how they as a band, like, come Art, up with songs. Do, and Do, the, do yeah. their thing. Yeah. It was just, it was good. We learned a lot. Yeah. It was a great experience. Basically, I went into this bar and I was, you know, having a good time. And I proceeded to buy everybody in the bar Uh-oh. Um, shots all, all night long. My tab ended up being something like $937 when I left. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, and I, that was at like 11 in the morning, I think, or something. Something crazy. You know, I got there probably. There was two bad Snake and Jake Yeah, there was two. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> oh, no. And there was another bad thing that happened that night. And then you, yeah. you got sober a little bit. And yeah. then you went fell back in. And then another crappy thing happened at oh, Snake and Jake's. That, that was really. Bad. That was like, dude, you need to stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. You're done. All right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And that was it. And then you were. I, that I was, that was it. Yeah. I haven't had a sip since. Two yeah. years. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. I will write a lot of love songs. I, 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 he he really yeah did. I really I don't, did. that's Cam and uh, Camp our drummer writes a lot of songs he writes yeah. a lot of love songs too well yeah. is yeah. there something about like healthy relationships that just can't make it to a song uh, you know happiness I, I've been, I, that's one thing I kind of struggle with it's like uh, it's like when I'm happy I don't necessarily want to write like about it but it's like when I'm sad I want to write about it all the time but I want to be happy so like. That's how do you juggle with that? Yeah. You know, tortured artist or whatever. It's like you want to make your art, but it's like you know you get to a certain point. And it's like, oh man, where did all this stuff come from? It's like, well, I was not feeling good back then, or and it was just flowing, man. You know, and that's just you know, it was just those really those makes raw you feel better, emotions yeah. were just coming out. Everything was so yeah. You know, it was like you just you could just touch the. I don't. I can't explain it. You know, you just. Everything was raw to the touch, you know. It's just like you can really, and everything you put down on the paper just is the most meaningful thing you've ever written to you at that time.